I'll go back to emulator and open the store again. So this time let's quickly validate the toast message. So without giving the edit box name, I'll click on let's shop and I'll try to take screenshot of this. But somehow you see that it disappears. So you will not get toast message here. Maybe you need to So I will show how to do this. Try to select a screenshot and meanwhile click on this let shop button and it's keep on clicking this so that it will capture. Come on capture. Okay perfect you got it but there is no use of doing this. Unfortunately you will not get any objects on this toast messages. You see that? You can get objects for this edit box, for this button as well, but when you try to spy on this toast message, which is nothing but error message in this scenario, you will be not able to do that. That's okay. So when you are not able to get objects for that toast message, then how do you automate and grab that text if it is displayed or not? So for that, I will show you one more thing. So this is the scrolling code. Um, I will put some comments. In general, when developers developing this toast message, they will give this as the class name. This is the standard. Okay, Android dot widget dot toast. Okay, this is the class name given to that toast message. So even if you are not able to inspect it by default whenever you see toast message this will be the class name. So if there are multiple toast messages then index 1 will be the first toast message what you will be seeing on the screen. And if there is if you want to target second toast message if displayed on the screen then you need to give 2. So that means out of these two class names get me the second one. So android dot widget dot toast this will be the class name. So in our case we do only have one toast message right. We are just targeting to see whether this toast message is displaying or not. If displays what is that text we need to print it in the output that is our scenario. So you can simply say it's one okay and as I also told you that if it is class name you can use that as a tag name as well. So you can simply write xpath for this driver dot find element by dot xpath slash slash android widget toast one. Whenever you write like this and rpm will try to identify the toasts present on that screen. Okay. So I clearly told in my previous lectures that you can use class name as tag name okay, in, at this place. There are some examples also we did. So the same class name I am writing as a tag slash slash tag name and that's it. I am not writing any attribute equals to value because that's an optional in XPath. This part is always optional. So when you write this obviously it will find for the toast messages on the screen and we have only one toast message so it will identify it. Okay. So I will actually um, once you identify that I will say dot get attribute of name. What is this? So again if you have some Android development basics you will easily identify this. But don't worry I'll tell you. So whenever developer create one toast message just like um, where is that? Just like this and he will give the class name as android um, dot toast whatever I shown for that and whatever the text he is printing on that toast he will give that in name attribute okay something like this. Um, if you can able to inspect it you will see here as a name and value will be please enter your name okay. So for every toast message there will be name attribute which will have the message of that toast that's the developer you know basics name attribute 
for toast messages will have the content ok so that's why first I am finding the toast and on the toast I am trying to get the attribute of name value string toast message I will grab that value whatever I get from the name attribute into one string ok so once I get that I will simply print this and with that we can confirm if that toast message whatever we are seeing so when I run this code now output should be like please enter your name ok that is the output we are expecting because we are trying to print the text which is present on the toast if there is no toast message at all then this test will fail ok this xpath itself will not found and you will get the error message but I do not want to mess this particular test case so what I will do so this is total another scenario of testing negative scenario right I will make it 2 which is ok and then I will remove this lines here in the test case 2 but to make this work we should give skip um, we should skip this edit box entering hello right if you enter hello and fill the form then toast message will not display if you comment this code so that and when you click on button as you are not entering in edit anything in edit box you should find the toast so let us run this code and see how it goes fingers crossed I know that it would be great if you see the spy objects in this UI automator but unfortunately for toast messages you won't get it so this is like um, dumb rule that it would be have android dot with get dot toast and if you want to read the text you can simply read with get attribute of name it should hopefully work um, let's see how it goes it's trying to open the app and it will select female first and it will select Argentina by scrolling to drop down and then click on shop blood shop and it should grab that please enter your name perfect you see that text is present in your output so you can confirm that error message is working but if you want to fail the test if that does not work then it is better to write some assertion called asset dot assert true sorry assert equals so what you are expecting please enter your name right write it here and what is the actual you are getting you are getting toast message perfect now if the toast message whatever it grabbed from the app if it is equals to please enter your name your test case will pass if it is not equals to please enter your name your test will return as failure ok this is what the actual validation is ok actual validation to verify error message displaying correctly or not ok so you need to have test ng or you can use junit for this but do not worry once we start framework lectures I will clearly explain what is test ng and how we can use assertions with that alright so this is very simple equal assert equal so this is equal to this or not it will just check with this assert equals method if they are not equal test will return fail if it equals we are pass and it passes however we just saw so we need not run again and waste our time so that is how the second scenario need to be handled and let us see that fill the form details and verify toast error messages displayed appropriately for wrong inputs we have successfully completed first scenario I thought it was second so let me put 1.1 for this in the next lecture let us quickly jump to the interesting part of um, shopping the items in the cart ok let us see that thank you